Dear students, we know that nature is for all living beings. Man should learn to live in harmony with nature. That means man should try to be a part of nature. But what is man doing? We have just seen in a video what is man's attitude towards nature. Being one with nature is always mesmerizing, is always interesting. So being a part of nature is very interesting. And our first lesson Adventures in a banyan tree tells us about a boy who lived in close relationship with nature and what nature had in store for him. Okay, now let's move on to our lesson. Adventures in a banyan tree. Though the house and grounds of our home in India were grandfather's domain, the magnificent old banyan tree was mine, chiefly because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it. Grandmother used to tease him about this and would speak of a certain Countess of Desmond, an English woman who lived to the age of 117 and would have lived longer if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree. The spreading branches of the banyan tree, which curved to the ground, and took root again, forming a maze of arches, gave me endless pleasure. The tree was older than the house, older than grandfather, as old as the town of Dehra, nestling in a valley at the foot of the Himalayas. My first friend and familiar was a small grey squirrel arching his back and sniffing into the air he seemed at first to resent my invasion of his privacy but when he found that I did not arm myself with a catapult or air gun he became friendly and when I started leaving him pieces of cake and biscuit, he grew bolder and finally became familiar enough to take food from my hands. Before long, he was delving into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find. He was a very young squirrel and his friends and relatives probably thought him headstrong and foolish for trusting a human. In the spring, when the banyan tree was full of small red figs, birds of all kinds would flock into its branches. The red bottomed bulbul, cheerful and greedy, gossiping rosy pastures, parrots and crows squabbling with each other all the time. During the fig season, the banyan tree was the noisiest place on the road. Okay, dear students, let's see what does that mean. Though the house and grounds of our home in India 
where grandfather's domain the magnificent old banyan tree was mine chiefly because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it here the narrator says that the house and grounds grounds in the vechal stalak bhumi of our home in india where grandfather's domain domain is an area of territory or owned or controlled by a particular person where grandfather's domain domain adhina devula so he is saying that the house and grounds where grandfather's property the magnificent beautiful old banyan tree this is the banyan tree was mine was the narrator and they died chiefly because chiefly mainly pradhanamayu grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it grandfather was 65 years old and he could not climb on the banyan tree grandfather na 65 vayasayirun so he could not climb on the banyan tree climb keruga grandmother you should tease him tease make fun of kaliyak and would speak of a certain counters of desmond and she would speak speak tell about a certain countess countess is the wife of a count prabhu in the bhaarya yan countess of desmond desmond is a place in england an english woman who lived to the age of 117 and this woman is three lived to the age of 117 no it is the near vice very good and would have lived longer if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree avar idine kalam kuru jeevikum aayirun if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree and she died by falling down while climbing an apple tree marichad enganeyana by falling down when climbing an apple tree apple marathil kerumba paale veenittaan marichu here the narrator says house and grounds of our home in india mode they have arrived at the house and grounds of our home in india ruskin bomb in the eighth year he is an englishman they have an english guy swadantra dinashesham his family did not go back to england and settled in india england leki marangi povade india il thamasam tudrage that's why he says our home in india the spreading branches of the banyan tree spreading branches look at the branches of the banyan tree spreading parannu kadakku the spreading branches of the banyan tree which curve to the ground curve taalottu vera malanju vera to the ground and took root again taalottu malanju vannu took root again vindum veru forming a maze of arches than a maze getting in is easy getting out is difficult forming a maze of arches gave me endless pleasure pleasure happiness endless without measure so 
ദ സ്പ്രെഡിങ് ബ്രാഞ്ചസ് ആ പരന്നു കിടക്കുന്ന കൊമ്പുകൾ ഭൂമിയിലേക്ക് വന്ന് വേര് വെച്ച് വീണ്ടും മുകളിലേക്ക് പോകും സോ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ലൈക്ക് എ മെയ്സ് ഒരു മെയ്സിനെ പോലെയായിരുന്നു അതിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ കളിക്കാൻ ഗേവ് മീ ആൻഡ്ലെസ് പ്രഷർ എനിക്ക് വളരെയേറെ സന്തോഷം നൽകിയിരുന്നു ദ ട്രീ വാസ് ഓൾഡർ ദൻ ദി ഹൗസ് ദ ട്രീ വാസ് ഓൾഡർ ദൻ ദി ഹൗസ് ഓൾഡർ ദൻ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ ഹാസ് ഓൾഡ് എസ് എ ടൗൺ ഓഫ് ദഹറ ദ ട്രീ വാസ് എ വെരി ഓൾഡ് ട്രീ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ഓൾഡർ ദൻ ദി ഹൗസ് ഓൾഡർ ദൻ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ ഹാസ് ഓൾഡ് എസ് എ ടൗൺ ഓഫ് ദഹറ ദഹറ ഇസ് ദ ടൗൺ ഓഫ് ദെറാഡോൺ വിച്ച് ഈസ് ദ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് ഉത്തരാഞ്ചൽ ഉത്തരാഞ്ചലിൻ്റെ ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ തലസ്ഥാനമാണ് ദെറാദൂൺ ആ സ്ഥലമാണ് ദെഹ്റ നെസ്ലിംഗ് ഇൻ എ വാലി അറ്റ് ദ ഫുറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഹിമാലയാസ് നെസ്ലിംഗ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ എ ഹാഫ് ഹിഡൻ ഓർ ഷെൽട്ടേഡ് പൊസിഷൻ ഒളിഞ്ഞിരിക്കും ഇൻ എ വാലി എ പ്ലേസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ മൗണ്ടൈൻസ് മലയിടുക്കുകൾക്കിടയിലുള്ള സ്ഥലം അറ്റ് എ ഫുട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ഹിമാലയാസ് സോ ദെറാദൂൺ ഈസ് നെസ്ലിംഗ് ഇൻ എ വാലി അറ്റ് ദ ഫുട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ഹിമാലയാസ് ഹിമാലയത്തിൻ്റെ ഹിമാലയത്തിൽ ഒളിഞ്ഞു കിടക്കുന്ന മലയിടുക്കിടയിലുള്ള ഒരു സ്ഥലമാണ് ഡെറാഡു മൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഫെമിലിയൽ വാസ് എ സ്മോൾ ഗ്രേ സ്ക്യൂൾ മൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓൺ ദ ബാനിയൻ ട്രീ വാസ് എ സ്മോൾ സ്ക്യൂൾ ദിസ് ഇസ് സ്ക്യൂൾ ആർച്ചിങ് ഇസ് ബാക്ക് having the curved shape of an arch kamanathine pole his back and sniffing in the air the action of drawing the air audibly through the nose so sniffing ochal eduthu kondu shasikya he seemed at first to resent resent angry deshapada at my invasion invasion attack akramana of his privacy so guide him so the squirrel did not like the boy coming into his privacy and he was very angry with the boy but when he found that i did not arm myself with a catapult catapult than a catapult or air gun book okay. So catapult and air gun are used to hunt animals. He became friendlier. He became friends with me. And when I started leaving him pieces of cake and biscuit, he grew bolder. He grew bolder, bolder, brave, courageous, dynamic, and finally became familiar enough to take food from my hands and finally avasana he became familiar by the jida mai take food from my hands he started taking food from my hands by in the kayil in bakshana garish before long he was delving into my pockets delving searching there you go into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find makeshe terane എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ പറ്റുക അതൊക്കെ എടുത്തുകൊണ്ടുപോകും അതൊക്കെ എടുത്തു കൊണ്ടുപോയി കഴിക്കും ഹി വാസ് എ വെരി യങ് സ്ക്യൂറൽ ചെറിയ സ്കൂളായിരുന്നു ചെറുപ്പമായിരുന്നു ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് റിലേറ്റീവ്സ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് റിലേറ്റീവ്സ് അതർ സ്കൂൾസ് മറ്റ് സ്കൂളുകൾ പ്രോബ്ലി തോട്ട് ഇൻ ഹെഡ് സ്ട്രോങ് വെരി ഡിറ്റേമിൻഡ് ടു ഡു വാട്ട് വൺ വോൺസ് വിത്തൗട്ട് ലിസണിങ് ടു അതേഴ്സ് പിടിവാശിയുള്ള ആൻഡ് ഫൂളിഷ് ഫൂളിഷ് വിഡ്ഡിയായ ഒരു സ്ക്യൂറലാണെന്ന് കരുതി ഫോർ ട്രസ്റ്റിങ് എ ഹ്യൂമൻ ട്രസ്റ്റ് വിശ്വസിക്കുക മനുഷ്യനെ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ദ തോട്ട് ഹിം ഹാസ് വെരി ഡിറ്റേമിൻ ആൻഡ് ഫോളിഷ് ബിക്കോസ് ആസ് ഫാർ ആസ് എനിമേഴ്സ് ആർ കൺസേൺ ട്രസ്റ്റിങ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ഈസ് എ ഫോളിഷ്നസ് ക്ലങ്ങളെ സംബന്ധിച്ചോളം മനുഷ്യരെ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നത് വിഡ്ഢിതമാണ് ഇൻ ദ സ്പ്രിങ് when the banyan tree was full of small red figs this is the red figs this is a fruit of the banyan tree birds of all kind would flock flock a number of birds of one kind feeding resting or traveling together on its branches 
birds of all kinds kinds tarathilulla would flock on the branches would flock on the branches of the banyan tree marathinte kombil vannirikku the red bottomed bulbul the red bottomed bulbul this is the red bottomed bulbul cheerful happy and greedy greedy atyarthiyulla it is greedy to eat the red figs of the banyan tree gossiping rosy pastures rosy pastures another bird gossiping he strigalde vartana sadharana ga nilundavuna nammal parayarulla paradosham and parrots and crows parrots crows scrabbling scrabbling quarreling noisily over a silly matter scrabbling means quarreling noisily over a silly matter cheriya karyathil vela mukka with each other all the time during the fig season the banyan tree was the noisiest place on the road during the fig season he fruits and down the season this fruit the banyan tree was the noisiest place on the road etum vehalamulla stalam aayirunnu the banyan tree is just like your classroom when there is no teacher in our classroom the teacher alla thara avastha anuchu so that was the same condition in the fig season and the banyan tree with a variety of birds coming together okay dear students now let's look at some questions which will help you to understand the lesson house and grounds were of grandfather's domain but the magnificent old banyan tree was mine why did the boy say so yes what what are your answers yes grandfather could no longer climb it because the grandfather could no longer climb on the banyan tree the boy said that the banyan tree was mine next question how did the squirrel become a friend of the boy yes what are your answers okay when the squirrel noticed that the narrator did not arm himself with a catapult or air gun he became friendly let's look into the next question what did the friends of the squirrel think about his friendship with the human what might have made them think so yes what you got your as answers okay, let's check it his friends and relatives probably thought him had strong and foolish for trusting a human what might have made them think so is the second part of the question human beings usually harm animals so they thought him to be headstrong and foolish to the next question how was the banyan tree the noisiest place during the fig season when the banyan tree was full of small red figs birds of all kinds would flock into its branches red bottomed bulbul cheerful and greedy gossiping rosy pastures and parrots and crows scrabbling with each other all the time so how did it become the noisiest place when it was full of small red figs birds of all kinds would flock into its branches but what all kind of birds red bottomed bulbul which are cheerful and greedy gossiping rosy pastures parrots and crows they would be scrabbling with each other making the banyan tree the noisiest place during the fig season okay that was the end of the questions okay dear students let's look at some additional questions how did the grandmother tease 
grandfather. Yes, your answers. Speaking of a certain Countess of Desmond who lived to the age of 117 and died by falling when climbing an apple tree. We have one more question. Who was the first friend of the narrator on the banyan tree? Who was the first friend? The squirrel. The squirrel was the first friend of the narrator on the banyan tree. You have some assignments. The boy, after making the friendship with the squirrel, writes his feelings in a diary. Prepare a diary entry. So the boy, he makes friendship with the squirrel and he writes his feelings in a diary. So you have to prepare the diary entry of the boy. Next question. The boy feels that the banyan tree is his. He writes a letter to his friend telling him why he feels so. Write the likely letter. So the narrator tells that the banyan tree belonged to him. So the boy feels that the banyan tree is. He writes a letter to his friend telling why he feels that the banyan tree belonged to him. So imagining yourself as the boy, you have to write the letter. And the last one, the boy, after making friends with the squirrel, makes a conversation with his grandfather about it. So the boy is making friends with the squirrel. He had made friendship with the squirrel. And he is very happy. So he makes a conversation with his grandfather about his friendship with the squirrel. So you have to make a conversation. And remember, the conversation should have at least six exchanges. And you have to do these assignments and you would have to take a photo of it and send it to me on my WhatsApp number. And when you write your answers, write it neatly and when you take the photo, it should be clear so that I can read it. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.